One of the most important parts of an electric car is the battery. The automobile won't move at all without it. This is why Tesla, a world-class electric vehicle manufacturer founded by Elon Musk, keeps innovating its battery. Elon Musk has therefore presented a brand new 4680 battery. What benefits does this new battery provide? How is it superior to the batteries Tesla has previously used? Stay tuned as we explore Elon Musk's final 4680 battery unveiling. The battery not only powers an electric vehicle, but it also decides how far you can go before you need to stop for a change. This is crucial since EV owners want a car that they can use for days without needing to recharge the battery. Additionally, a larger capacity allows the owner to confidently take longer journeys. Even still, the battery's significance cannot be overstated given that it is responsible for the majority of the car's overall cost. In actuality, the higher prices that EV consumers pay are solely attributable to the battery, and these prices won't begin to decline until battery prices fall. Because it costs a lot for the owner to replace them, EV batteries must endure a long time. Additionally, the battery weight considerably impacts the car's overall curb weight. Consequently, EVs are heavier than cars powered by internal combustion engines. This has a wide range of effects on how cars are made because the weight impacts how they handle, forcing the designers to experiment with alternative battery positions to find the right balance. The weight of the battery has an impact on the vehicle's range since, paradoxically, a heavier battery makes a vehicle heavier and reduces range. With its new 4680 battery, also referred to as the Tableau's battery, Tesla aimed to address all of these issues. The question is, which of these did Tesla accomplish? For BEVs, lithium-ion batteries are typically used. However, this practice can be traced back to Tesla since the storied Roadster was the very first Tesla vehicle to employ them. Because an EV could now travel more than 200 miles for the first time, EV ranges saw a significant increase. It was significantly superior to the lead acid present in earlier models since it was lighter, more effective, and charged more quickly. Even great was the upkeep. But when Musk insisted on larger batteries, the engineers got to work. Tesla was able to offer EVs with ranges greater than 300 miles thanks to further improvements. Tesla even provided a Model S variant with a range of more than 400 miles. Additionally, it made sure that the higher performance versions did not incur a significant range penalty. Still, Musk did not consider these adequate. He has mentioned the 1 million mile battery numerous times, and even the vehicles that Tesla hopes to sell in the future will require strong batteries. For instance, Musk claims that the Tesla Semi, a Class 8 truck, will completely transform the trucking business. However, the truck needs colossal batteries for that transformation to happen. Large batteries are required for trucks because of their enormous workloads and extensive travel distances. However, the range decreases with battery weight, which has historically been the main obstacle for electric trucks. The truck's highest stream, which calls for a sizable battery pack, gives 500 miles of range. The Tesla Semi also has to charge quickly despite its enormous size. If not, it wouldn't be feasible because the charging times would interfere with the supply timetable. The ideal situation would be for the truck drivers to be able to fully recharge during their required stops. Tesla is, however, pursuing that angle. Mega chargers, which are essentially superchargers on steroids, are used to provide the vehicle with a huge one megawatt of power. In the meantime, it seems like Tesla is going all out with the ranges of its forthcoming EVs. Tesla finally ceased making the first Roadster to concentrate on the Model S, but the supercar is making a strong comeback. Tesla can reclaim the title of the EV with the longest range thanks to the new generation Roadster with more than a 600-mile range. Tesla, on the other hand, needs to pack strong batteries into its performance vehicle to achieve that enormous range. Musk has unveiled a new battery because the current one simply isn't cutting it. Another vehicle that needs a strong battery is the Cybertruck. 500 miles are promised by the top model. The battery must handle the weight of the Cybertruck pickup, which is built of steel and armored glass, despite being the most powerful variant. 
Due to the battery's two-way charging capability, people using power tools or even campers in off-grid locations will depend on it even before the end of the world. Musk's goals for the Cybertruck can be achieved with a battery that is just more powerful than the one it now has. It's interesting to note that while Musk needs a new battery to realize his long-held aim of releasing an affordable car that more people, and not just the wealthy, can purchase, Tesla needs a powerful battery to power its yet-to-be-released powerful EVs, which naturally command high pricing. He determined that $25,000 is the upper limit for what is considered to be an inexpensive automobile, but he has faced several difficulties in producing a car at that price point, largely because of the cost of batteries. Tesla's new battery must therefore be both powerful and less expensive to manufacture. Does Elon Musk's new 4680 battery meet each of these criteria? Which is the reason Musk is so enthusiastic about it? The company's new 4680 cylindrical battery cells are used in the construction of the brand new pack. Musk claims that the new cell design will result in significant cost savings, with each kilowatt hour produced at the cell level costing 56% less. The unique Tableau's shingle spiral cell architecture, according to him, can increase your driving range by 16% while providing nearly five times as much energy as their predecessors. Instead of creating an EV platform around the battery pack, Tesla used it as a structural component to get greater performance out of it. According to estimates, it will increase the range by 14%. Since more cells may fit, more structural support can be provided. Additionally, the new 4680 cell architecture provides better thermal and electrical performance. Tesla will be able to adjust the battery pack's proportions to suit its demands thanks to the battery's increased energy density. Musk claims that Tesla engineers will be able to boost the battery pack's overall efficiency by 30% without even altering the cell chemistry. The energy density of the 4680 batteries is predicted to be at least 300 watt-hours per kilogram and most likely substantially higher. Now, before we get deeper, please give a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video so far. And stay tuned until the very end to find out more about this new battery. According to Musk, Tesla will be able to drastically cut the amount invested in its battery factories for each gigawatt-hour produced by 69%. Changes made to the chemistry also benefit the new 4680 battery. For instance, silicon is used by Tesla in its existing batteries, but due to its physical characteristics, it is difficult to use at more significant volumes. The problem with silicon is that when charged with lithium, it expands four times. However, silicon is the second most common element in the Earth's crust to oxygen, making it a more affordable and accessible commodity. Sand is just silicon dioxide, which is used to smooth down silicon's jagged edges. Tesla began with unprocessed silicon, which lowers the cost of silicon. Tesla merely developed new chemistry to complement it after that. This is easier than current methods and permits a larger silicon content in the cells. The result is a more affordable cell with a bigger capacity. Furthermore, Musk essentially redesigned the manufacturing process for the cathode that goes into the new 4680 battery. Cobalt is not required anymore thanks to the new high nickel cathodes. Cobalt is a great anchor for the cathode chemically, but it also has some major drawbacks. Because cobalt is poisonous, it is better if there are fewer hazardous minerals for people to mine process and utilize. However, the new 4680 battery's enhancements don't stop there. On a cost per kilowatt hour basis, replacing cobalt with a high nickel cathode reduces the price of a cathode by 15%. Tesla has a significant advantage over competitors in that it has designed and manufactured cathodes from the ground up. In total, Tesla's work on cathodes produced a method that dramatically reduces processing costs by 76%. All of this is accomplished with far less equipment, resulting in a 66% reduction in capital costs for cathode manufacture. And to top it all off, the new method utilizes a lot less water than conventional methods. 
In actuality, the new method produces no wastewater. However, the removal of the tab, a crucial improvement in the battery, gives the new 4680 battery better thermal properties. The internal resistance inside the cell that is brought on by the extra component is decreased by removing the tabs. This is because internal resistance results in increased heat generation, a more complicated manufacturing process, and a greater cost. The purpose of the tab is instead integrated into the jelly roll itself in Tesla's new 4680 cells, giving the end of the cell a neat, uniform appearance. Tesla used a laser to powder existing foils, then he permitted several connections into the active material. At its new factories in Texas and Berlin, Tesla will utilize the sheet spiral to create the new 4680 battery. Officially, the former has delivered its first vehicle. And that's it for today. Let us know what you think of the new 4680 battery in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Fred. Please subscribe to our channel for more technology updates and like and share this video. Now, do you want to know how Tesla builds new vehicle every 30 seconds? Well, click and watch the next video here.